Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. So, I, I think I've come to a conclusion, right? I, I, I think I've, I've really come to, <laughs> to kind of a, a crazy point of my career, okay? Let's kind of review. Let's, let's kind of really take it back, right? So yesterday, we had a 900-point U-turn, right? 900-point U-turn on the deadliest day. Unfortunately to say the deadliest day of corona deaths, okay? If this was 15 years ago, not even 10, but if this was 15 years ago, 12, 15 years ago, last night, again, if you guys remember last night's video, I was all sell bias coming into today, praying to God for, 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 for a gap up. Please market gods, give me a gap up. Please market gods, give me a backup. You know they're going to get rejected and go back right. Okay. So I came in flat. I've been coming in flat for, for a while now. But, you know, after yesterday's move, I said to myself, if we get a gap up this morning, okay, and they all get rejected in supply, that opening range is going to be like a swan dive, right? A swan dive back into the bottom of the, of, of the well. And the most amazing part is, okay, whatever you thought was normal 12, 15, 18, 20 years ago is completely bonkers right now. Just absolutely completely bonkers. The, the new math, one plus one equals 22. It's just there is, okay? So I, I sat there and, I, and I, as I was drinking a cup of coffee around three o'clock, I was sitting there and I go, this is, you know, anybody who starts to overthink what's going on here, you, you're going to burn yourself out to the point that trying to be right instead of being profitable. It's just, it's just the reality. And this market is so random, okay? If you start really digging into how market structure works, you know the overnight game it's like betting a sporting event. Seriously, can we get a sporting event to bet on, right? So when I came in this morning and I saw the futures up 200 points, I was like, all right, whatever, right? So they go up 300 and this is where they start to fade. You guys remember that? They started fading, 300, 250, 170, 150, 130. I caught a, you know, I caught a good pivot on, on Tesla to the downside. And I say to myself, just a matter of time. <laughs> Right? Just a matter of time. That's it. This is it. The next candle, they're, they're all going to get destroyed. And the most amazing part, right? The most amazing part is you, it's not like they everything exploded up, right? It wasn't like that. It was more of like they went up, they went down. They went up, they went down. They went up when they went down. And the, the way the channels were, 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 were playing out this morning, a lot of people turned around and say, you know, and again, in the global trading population, they turned around and said, wow, what a choppy day. And they were right. Absolutely right. You know, we had a couple pivots in the morning. Everything was fine, blah, blah, blah. But I was sitting there and I'm like, well, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And, and, and next thing I knew around, I think it was around 1130, I said, I feel like we're getting slow played here, right? I, and, I, and I use that word a lot, um, especially when I feel like there's a, a short trap coming. And I feel like this sell-off is taking way too long, like really, really way too long. And I said, is there any possible way they're going to rally this market up? I go, nah, nah, there's no way. Right? There's no way. And slowly but surely, and you'll start seeing, you know, we'll talk about the pivots in a second. Slowly but surely, you started seeing things wake up. And you had some news, right? You, you definitely had some news today. Uh, Bernie Sanders, and again, you know, I was so looking forward to paying 99% taxes for the next four years. You know, he gracefully bowed out of the presidential race. Maybe next time, right? Maybe next time. So Bernie bails out. Really, nobody cares. Really, market doesn't really care one way or another. But again, it is what it is. Uh, you had FOMC coming out in the middle of the day saying, look, rates are going to be pretty much at, at nil until this kind of world gets back on track. Okay, no big deal one way or another. But the one interesting part I found about today's session was, and we've been talking about this now for two weeks. Have you guys noticed what's been going on? First time I saw it, I was like, ah, it's no big deal. Second time I saw it, wow, this is something interesting. This, you know, today I talked about, I, I tweeted out like around three o'clock and I said, you realize you could just walk in 
at 10 minutes to four when the MOC, uh, MOC orders are coming out, you can literally buy any stock, literally stock at the highs, any beta stock at the highs, you'll catch a five, 10 point move. And at first we were joking around, obviously I'm joking, but if you look at today, like for example, MOC came in, market on close came in $2 billion worth, right? Look at the move in the spies at 350. Spies go from three, 373, excuse me, 273.66 to 276. The Qs go, I mean, this is insane now, right? This is insane. You, the Qs go from 200 to 201. This is in seconds. I mean, absolutely in seconds. So again, for all new traders, you want a phenomenal strategy? And I'm joking. I'm saying this is a sarcasm. Get long at 350, your favorite stock at the high of the day. Millions, millions flood your Twitter account, right? Millions. So you'll make a lot of money. But all, all jokes aside, I, 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 I really think the longer I trade, and, I, and <laughs> again, 20, almost 21 years is a long time, right? But the longer I trade, I mean, I, I start looking at things and I say to myself, why do I even bother, right? Obviously, you have to have an opinion. I say this every day. It's very, very important to use your brain. It's very important to have a bias, at least at the open, give that side a directional balance to play out, okay, into your uh, thesis, into your chart work from the night before. But at the end of the day, after the first two hours, does it really make a difference what happens? Especially, again, especially if you're trading them, if you're trading in the intraday markets. Again, I trade channels up, down, doesn't make a difference. But at the end of the day, man, I, I think it's, it, it's at the point right now that we do have to accept that one plus one does equal 22. Nothing needs to happen. The weakest stocks are going to be the strongest stocks the next day. The strongest stocks are going to never rally for the rest of the day. And this is, again, what we talk about. This is the greatest reality show that's not on television. So when, when somebody turns around, especially a new trader turns around and says, well, this market doesn't make sense anymore. Well, yeah, that's that's the whole point. The market doesn't make sense anymore, right? Our idea of what normal is, is incredibly subjective. So what is normal? Okay, a market opening up 50 points and grinding it up of 500, or the market gapping down 100 points, gap, you know, going lower to five. Like, what is normal, right? It's, it's all in the eye of the beholder. So every single day that you come in and you open up your machine, you have your game plan ready, and you're ready to rock and roll, expect the unexpected and that's the what it is and when end of the day when you look back at the action and your your ability to read the market don't be surprised that you look like a fool right i you know yesterday i was like yo i'm a hundred percent sell buys right it's not like i sat there on my watch list and say hey you know here's six shorts four longs i was a hundred percent sell biased a hundred right a hundred percent sell bias and the most amazing part obviously we traded on the long side today we traded on the short side today uh, and there was some value. There was some pretty decent value on the short side as well. But again, guys, expect the unexpected. Don't try to, to, to you know, after the market opens and your, your thesis is completely out of the window, don't try to, you know, don't try to Jedi mind trick the market, you know, to kind of will it your way. Just go with the flow. Whatever channel's set up, that's a directional bias. Like I was looking at, short, like on my overnights, on my overnight uh, uh, chart work, right? I was looking at, you know, gap and crap on Boeing, strongest stock. Gap and crap on <laughs> shop, strongest stock, right? I was looking, uh, I was looking at both sides of Tesla, and both sides kind of played out. Um, so it's 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 a crazy market. It's a crazy market. Um, just go with the flow, one day at a time, uh, one trade at a time. And oh, by the way, not only did we have the deadliest day for uh, unfortunate. COVID-19 victims yesterday, today was, again, the deadliest days of COVID-19 uh, victims, unfortunately, again, and hopefully, again, God, we pe we, we pe we're going to peak out at some point and kind of get back to normal life, right? Not normal trading. Again, there's no such thing as normal trading. It's going back to uh, normal life. So again, <laughs> okay, what's going to happen for tomorrow, right? Like what's going to happen for tomorrow? Tomorrow is uh, the last day of the week, okay, Friday when market is closed. It's Good Friday. Uh, again, I know for a fact it's not going to be a travel day, right? Nobody's going anywhere for long weekends, so everybody's staying at home, so you can't turn around tomorrow and say, well, the volume is going to suck. Everybody's tra well, nobody's traveling anywhere, right? So we can take that off the table. So here's the channels, okay? I think here are the channels. I, I think they're pretty tight to the downside, to the upside. Macro view on the cues. Uh, you know, again, I'm flat. I'm going to just see what the market gives me. But this time, uh, you know, this time overnight, uh, we have some longs, we have some shorts. Damn it, something got to give. So let's talk about it. So on the upside tomorrow, 
Uh, we are watching this, you know, 202. 75 203 level on the queues. If they start building, then we have a legitimate shot here running uh, to this 206 and change the 50 day supply. Uh, if the market rolls over, again, I have no idea anymore, okay? But if the market rolls over and it, we, we start building below 196, right? Yesterday's low was 96, today's low was 196.17. So if we start building below 96, then we go to 94 and then we go to 92. Other than that, I have zero idea. That's it. I said it. I have no idea. I'm an idiot. I have no nothing. Nobody knows nothing. The market knows nothing. Go with the flow. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about today's pivots uh, again. Some good strong, uh, some good long, some good sh shorts. Um, kind of a mixed bag in the morning, but everything played out. What I liked, what I what I did today. Okay, sometimes you don't. Uh, sometimes the results are the results. But what I like, what I did today, the stocks that stalled out on me, for example, today, like we're, we'll talk about, for example, like Netflix, I, I, I recognized it right away. And instead of sitting there, you know, taking a two dollar, three dollar loss, I sat there, saw the, you know, saw order flow, it shrunk up, right? Sellers were really in command of the pivot, and I was taking like a 40, 50 cent loss on the trade. Again, stay mentally sharp. The same thing I did the first time with Apple, right? Apple, it broke out, right? It broke out. Put it as second entry, and I said right away, this thing is weak, this thing is weak, this thing is weak, this thing is weak. And you know, I sell it right away, I sell it right away, uh, I made pennies on the trade, whatever, nothing, flat trade, watch the stock go down a dollar and a half. So what I really liked about today, not even the, the, the pivots that worked, I, I liked what I, I did with the pivots that kind of stalled out. And that's kind of what I mean every single day by you know taking the last hour, hour and a half off, you kind of mentally refresh yourself. So going into tomorrow's session, usually I'm like exhausted. I'm pretty fresh. Uh, I'm pretty fresh. I've been I've been kind of practicing, you know, getting out the tape in the last hour, hour and a half or so uh, for the last two weeks or so. And again, it's been it's been a really big, uh, really big uh, uh, kind of a uh, kind of tool for me. Just kind of stay fresh for the larger part of the day, then get tired towards the end and spill over to the next day. So I, I felt like today we really read the tape, that really read the pivots that kind of stalled out. And really minimize, like minimize damage, like today. For example, Netflix, 40, 50 cents, whatever the hell I lost on it uh, today. But some, some pretty good pivots. So let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about it today. Um, blah, 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 blah. So here is Apple, right? 263.85, 264. So I took the second entry on this thing, okay? And it went up to 264. I think it was like 264.30, right? 264.30, and then it came in and then remounted the 264.30 and ran up about like 20 cents, like nothing, right? Like literally ran up nothing. Uh, here is the pivot right here. Let me show you guys exactly what I was talking about. So here was the Apple pivot, right? Here was the Apple pivot, this 264 level, right? It was right over here, okay? So there was this 264 level right here. So it goes up initially, right? It goes up initially like... 20 cents or so, and I saw it, it was gonna stall out. It stalls out, I sell it, made nothing on a cup of coffee. The stock comes in like a dollar and a half. I said, wow, I must be getting less stupid. I know I'm not getting smarter. I must be getting less stupid in my, in my, in my later developing years. And then later, right, later, so basically it was like the third entry, which I never do, da da da, da. obviously it explodes and really does well. Again, if you traded it like me, it was the responsible thing to do. Again, we can't predict what's gonna happen later. We're just trying to win our interval. So I screwed up Apple, wah, 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 wah. Too bad, right, too bad. I'm watching shop, green to red on watch. No, this is not a pivot, just momentum. 173 needs to build, yada, yada, yada. It's the strongest stock of the day. Who the hell knows? Uh, Roku is good, uh, Roku needs to build 90. Here's the Roku pivot. It's crazy market, right? Crazy, crazy market. So here was the 90, uh, here was the 90 pivot on Roku. Uh, you know, went to this 19, 9, 960, the second entry was 960, and it went up to like 92 uh, on Roku. Um, yeah, again, again, NVIDIA, uh, 265 needs to build. NVIDIA is just a strong stock, really, really strong name on NVIDIA. Here was the 265, went to 267.30s. Uh, right, you see this whole 265 area, right? 265, 265, 265, right? Went to 6530, I ran up about $2 and change, came back in, remounted, and went uh, went as high as like you know, 68, whatever the hell it was. So NVIDIA continues to be a strong name. And again, here's a perfect example, Boeing on watch, right? Boeing on watch, green to red short. Note, this is not a pivot, just momentum. 140 needs to build. Again, this is gonna be a big number uh, going forward on Boeing. We'll talk about that, obviously, to the long side in a second. It was a big, big pivot on the long side there. Uh, 97, 
Uh, I shorted Baidu, okay? I, I shorted it. It's not the easy stock to trade, but again, it did come in, and I know a lot of you guys did very, very well on it. Uh, 97 if it builds below can flush. 96 is macro. That's the big area. The reason why I said 97 first, that was the pre-market low, right? That was the pre-market low right here. Everybody see that? 97 was the pre-market low, okay? So 97 was the pre-market low, and the daily confirmation was this 96. You see these candles here? 96, 96, right? 96. So 97, 96, confirmed both, and it went down to 94, 90. Again, not a bad move. Uh, not a bad move at all. Uh, TAL held 53 times. Now it held 50, 103 times. So here is TAL. Uh, obviously, you can see it. 50, 50, 50, 50, never broke 50. Again, 50 is going to be a big spot for this thing uh, in the future. Again, set alerts for uh, another uh, entry in this thing below 50 in this lifetime or the next. But you can see here how it's just holding 50, 50, 50, 50. Uh, so TAL as well. Uh, nothing doing there. Uh, yeah, so this was, this was a good trade. I, I, again, this is a really good trade. I was very proud of myself because I minimized, I, I read it perfectly. It stalled out, uh, 377.50, uh, 378 needs to build. So I get long, right? I get long. It only goes up like 40 cents, right? It only goes up 40 and it just sits there, sits there, sits there. And then the seller has reclaimed, reclaimed the 378 area. I was like, ah, okay, I'm screwed. So I, I said, you know what? Let me give it a minute. If it doesn't remount back on the 378, I'm going to be out. And it never did. It never did. And um, so I sold the stock. I lost like 40, 50 cents on the trade. Nothing. Because if I didn't, again, if you sit there like a deer in headlights, look what happened to Netflix, right? If you don't recognize that, that seller and they're just not, you know, if you just, re if you recognize it and they just, they just do not want to get out of the way, they're not going to sit there and give you 5, 10, 20 minutes to figure it out. They're going to sell it. And they, this thing got murdered. I mean, this thing went straight down, uh, all the way down to 368. So again, guys, be proactive. I, I know a lot of new traders don't like to get rid of a small losing trade. But again, a paper cut, a lot better than a severed head. Paper cuts are good. Severed head, bad. So again, so good read. I was very happy with the loss there. Um, I, I traded Tesla nicely. Uh, 541, a huge support. If it builds below, it can flush. Tesla's a good trade. Uh, my lowest cover was 536. Uh, here was Tesla. I love Tesla. I mean, I really do. I, I know I... I, I uh, I just uh, talk about this thing nauseously in every single video, but I love this damn thing. So here is the whole whole, whole range here. 541, 541, 541, 541, 541, 541. Stopped at 541. Da, 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 da. Broke 541. Went all the way down to 533. My low score was 536. That was good. That's good. Here's a side note. A ton of weekly for tomorrow. Expiration is tomorrow because we're off Good Friday. A ton. Size buyers came in. Guys, watch tomorrow. Tesla to the upside. Size buyers came in on the 560 weekly calls. And I'm not just talking about one or two. They just kept on coming and coming and coming. So keep an eye on Tesla for tomorrow, uh, especially in the opening range area. Keep an eye on it for sure. So again, uh, Tesla take on the way down. Best stock ever. It really is. It really is the best stock ever. Baidu, new lows. Uh, watch for the second entry. That's what I did, right? I scratched on that sucker, messed it up. Um, yeah, so I even said, I go 262, 20, 30. That's the second entry and the damn thing went up two points. I suck. I suck, right? So bad. So uh, nice early short uh, on Tesla. And again, this is kind of what we talked about. Nice early short on Tesla. Uh, we were watching for that 552, 553 area that never obviously confirmed. But you can see here, a repeat, 560 weekly call bars just stepped in aggressively. Aggressively, I'm talking about one after another after another. Here is a big move on, on Boeing. Uh, 149.85, 150 needs to build for a spike. And again, that's my point. I was sell bias Boeing into, uh, sell bias Boeing into uh, coming into today. And again, there was no downward channels. And here was the, you know, here was right here, this 150, 150 area and just absolutely exploded. Went to 154 on Boeing. I mean, big move. I mean, really, really big move on Boeing. And I said, hey, take on the way up. Wow. Yeah. I mean, three, four dollar candle on Boeing uh, is pretty big. So again, it's not about being right. Hell, it's not even about being smart. It's not even a being rational anymore, guys. Trade the market, trade the ranges, have an open mind. If your bias is wrong, don't be stubborn. The most important thing to do is take it day by day, trade by trade, intelligently smart stay home i love you guys tomorrow's the last day of the week and with god's help we'll see you all tomorrow take care guys congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading 
you're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today. Thank you.